So a really obvious question. Why does none of the music on my YouTube channel stand out that much? And the answer might surprise you. And that's that I'm not a terribly big fan of EDM. But um, let me back up a step here, because there's a reason that I'm having this conversation with you guys. And that is that earlier today, I had a really interesting chat with a gentleman who also creates content on YouTube and Instagram. And we were kind of critiquing each other's work. I was telling him some things that I like about his work, and he was telling me some things that he likes about my work. And one of the things that he was really curious about was why the music that I feature in a lot of my videos seems so generic and uninspired. And the reason for that is that the type of music that I really like is not always a terribly good fit for my audience. And by the same token, um, the music that a lot of you guys out there like is stuff that I'm not a terribly huge fan of. So let's let's talk through this. Uh, follow, follow me outside while I go to uh, while I go to get in my training for the day, yeah? Okay, so let's start this off with a bit of a splitting hairs on this one, which is not, which, which is that I don't dislike EDM, so to speak. It's just, it's, it's not my favorite, you know? There's a lot of mu musical genres out there that I will listen to, but that for a variety of reasons are definitely not my favorite. And EDM just happens to be one of them. I remember way back in high school when I first got introduced to EDM, the way it happened was actually that I had a friend who uh, turned me on to The Prodigy. I just got into a movie called Hackers, and my friend had me listening to music for the Jilted Generation, which I still think is an absolutely incredible album. And of course, you know, there was Daft Punk on the radio and everything, on the rock channels. But when push came to shove, the kind of music that I really found myself gravitating to was not that electronic music that was definitely more towards the cutting edge, but, you know, rock music. I grew up on a steady diet of 60s and 70s hard rock. The Beatles, you know, The Who, Rolling Stones, loved all of it. And when I did start getting into more modern music, I started getting into music that quite frankly reminded me of that old 60s and 70s music that I'd grown up with. Stuff like Green Day or the Smashing Pumpkins. You know, I just, I loved listening to distorted guitars. There was so much power and the sound of power chords and just thundering drums. And to this day, that's really what gets my blood pumping and it's what makes me want to move around. Now, I've heard some EDM that I absolutely love, including the set that I think is probably the greatest set that I've ever listened to, which was a set that Bass Nectar played at Burning Man way back in, it would have been 2007, I think. And I'll be eternally grateful to the friend that I have that dragged me along to that show, because to this date, I still think that it is the best EDM set that I've ever heard in my life. But at the same time, it just doesn't grab me the same way that three different people all playing separate instruments do. It's kind of hard to explain, but I always feel like when there's only one person that's responsible for creating the music, that there's something that gets lost along the way. And, you know, granted, it becomes a work that is very cohesive in a lot of ways. That is, you feel the performer's personality pouring through it. But at the same time, Sometimes when you have a vision like that that is just so incredibly focused on a single performer, then you wind up in a position where you don't feel as though there's any kind of variance on that. There's, there, there's, there's no way that other people get to interpret their vision with them. Thank you. 
And, you know, to be frank, this is a problem that a lot of bands that operate on YouTube nowadays do. As much as I love listening to Leo Maracchioli and all of his wonderful metal covers, you know, there's also something about his music that still feels a little bit lifeless to me. You know, he plays every single one of those instruments, but I like hearing the flaws. I like hearing two people trying to figure each other out. I like hearing them trying to work off of each other. I like hearing the seams between two different people trying to interpret a song together. So today's practice centers on three things that I really want to get down. Uh, number one is my split opposites, one-handed stalls to either side of my body. Number two is my in-spin gunslinger flowers. And number three is trying to do together opposite gunslingers with spiral wraps on either end going top and bottom. So clearly those spiral wraps are going to take a lot more work. Now, speaking of metal... So it should be said that I think that this is kind of a problem just with the music industry in general, is we've been acclimated to want to have music that just seems completely flawless from top to bottom. And the problem is that kind of takes all the human out and element out of it. And like, I know there are some producers that are able to mix together samples in such a way that it like kind of makes it feel like a human being is doing it and that, you know, there are hiccups and flaws and things like that. But I always just ask, if you're working that hard to make a machine seem like it's acting like a human being, why not just use the human being to start with, you know? So, I guess what I'm saying is, I really, really, really like the flaws. I like knowing that there's a human being behind the music that I'm listening to. Because, like, when it comes right down to it, music is about a shared human experience, you know? It's about finding that rage and that love and that just blissful, blissful release that you find when people come together over a beat and a melody and everything. And I know that people find that with EDM, but for me it's really hard, which you know, frequently makes it difficult when I go around out to the fire festivals and everything because I find that there's very little music that gets me into that place where I want to move. And it also should be said that I always run into people who are in the EDM world who find it easier to talk about what they don't like than what they do. And yes, I realize that's hypocritical given the entire content of this video, but like, I'm here saying that what I love are hearing power chords and drums and people working off of each other and like fighting to get the song together. And I feel like sometimes that just gets lost in the EDM world. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I get it. I get why other people dig it. And I know that the majority of my audience out there does love EDM, but like, it's just not what motivates me to spin. And so, because of that, I tend not to have that much knowledge or information about the EDM genres. I don't know what's in, I don't know what's hot, and I don't know what other people are really enjoying listening to. So every time I pull a track out to listen to, I'm really just 
taking a stab in the dark. So, I don't know. If some of you guys out there want to throw me stuff that you really enjoy and that you hope that I'll enjoy too, I'm, I'm all ears. Um, and hopefully I haven't offended too many people through the course of this rant. Because ultimately, like, the reason I don't make a thing of this most of the time is that I think people should be free to love the things that they love without any kind of judgment on it. So, yeah. Keep on loving EDM, and I'm going to keep on loving my metal and punk. Um, and I guess in the meantime, uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, where it's not just me teaching poi, but also talking about things and uh, kind of showing you guys a little bit of the process behind what I do, then uh, please let me know down in the comments. Um, let me know if you have questions and topics that you would love to see me talk about in the course of this too. Um, so for now, I'm going to say thank you all for watching and uh, a big thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos over on Patreon. Uh, if you want to support me as well, you can head on over there to uh, patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up to contribute and you get all kinds of awesome extras as a result of that. And in the meantime, yeah. Enjoy your flow, and uh, I will see you by the bye. Peace.